He wants to retrieve us from the white man, our open enemy. You mean he would come and take me from my enemy and destroy my enemy? That's the kind of God I like. I don't want no punk God. I don't want no punk God. I want a God who can deal vengeance. I know a lot of us in here got our white friends and we want them saved and I understand they can be saved but they're gonna have to do something to be saved <laughs> I'll get to that at another time I intend to teach what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught on how the white man got here. You got to know this. So when you look at them and listen to them, you see them as they are. The Bible said when Jesus met a man, he said, how do you see men? He said, I see men walking as trees. And Jesus knew that the man wasn't seeing right. So he made a little spittle and put it on his eyes. How do you see men now? He said, oh, I see them as they are. See, y'all see the Caucasian as a giant. You see him as a tree. He's immovable. He's insurmountable. You can't handle him. He's the baddest on the planet. You need to meet Jesus so he could put a little spittle on your eye so you could see them as they are. He stood and he measured the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the nations and the everlasting mountains were scattered and the perpetual hills did bow. The mountains here mean the political leaders that look like they're everlasting. You can't uproot them, but they're shaking now because a certain truth is in the world that will undercut their governments and their power. What truth is that? the truth of their origin and their world and the knowledge of God, the knowledge of self and the true religion of God and the time and what must be done. Look, I'm almost finished. I saw the tents of Kushan in affliction. Kush here mean black people. He saw your tent. You're under affliction. You're suffering. You're sick. You get killed driving while black. In bad shape. He saw this. And the curtains of the land of Midian did tremble. Curtains mean the layers of falsehood that have covered you over all these years. Now the curtains are shaken because falsehood can't stand when truth comes. So as the truth is being told, those that lived in falsehood and ruled by falsehood are afraid that when you know the truth, you'll be raised into power and they won't be able to rule you anymore. So they're shaking now. Why are you shaking, white folks? because the truth is present and I can't stop it. If I attack it, the God that came will kill me outright. He allows me to persecute them, to try them, but I, if I kill so many of them, he promises 
that for one of his least, he'll kill 10 of my best. So I don't want to go that way just yet. I'll see if I can deceive them. Look here. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea? That you did ride upon your horses in the chariots of salvation? The bow was made quite naked. He's coming after this enemy. But the rivers are, are appearing to be angry. The sea appears to be angry. Rain coming down, now floods flooding out the cities and the towns. People build their home in Malibu. Oh, they want to be by the ocean. Now the ocean is in the house. You got to move back off the mountain. Or you build your house up in the mountain, but there's so much rain, mudslides take your house down off the mountain into the valley. He's troubling America. He's troubling the world. The world is in deep trouble because God is not to come. He's present. And I tell you, brothers, he's a mighty warrior. And he don't, he don't ask you to fight. He said, the battle is with me. I'm going to take the white man on for you. And I'm going to show you that he's no match for me. I'll whip him with locusts. I'll whip him with grasshoppers. I'll whip him with flies and gnats. I'll turn the air against him. I turn the water against him. I turn the seas against him. I turn the sun, moon, and stars against him. I'll take the moon and mess with his communication. I'll put sunspots on the moon, on the sun, to mess up his communication. in trouble he has come I don't represent a dead God I represent a living God I represent that Mahdi that was to come and I represent Jesus the Messiah and I want you to take a good look at me and listen to me I am not he but when you hear me you know that you ain't never heard no black man talk like this walk like this call the black man and he respond like this why I represent Jesus Christ I represent the Messiah and I am guided by the Mahdi. How do you know it? How do you know it? How do you know it? How will my Muslim family know it? How will they know that Allah has taught one from among us the book, Quran al-Kitab, the wisdom, the Torah, and the gospel. How will you know? How will you know? See, my brothers in Asia, they scared the death of America. You can talk all you want about Allah. But when it come to America, your knees get to shaking. Because he's so powerful, he can destabilize your government in the twinkling of an eye. But when you look up one day and see America beat down, not by the hand of man, but by the hand of God in a man, then you will know that I, the Lord, the scriptures say, am thy savior and thy redeemer. How you gonna know? I'm gonna give you a sign. What's the sign? I'm gonna determine out of dust a bird. And I'm gonna breathe into it. 
and it will become a bird by Allah's permission. Dust is a particle of matter that is without aim and purpose. He made man from the dust. Here you are, like a speck of dust. You are here, but you have no aim, no purpose. You just here like dust. And when the white man want to move you off the south side, off the west side, off the north side, he just blow. And just like dust moves, you get up and move. He move you out of the project. He move you into the suburbs. They call it gentrification. You have no root. You have no stability. You like dust. But out of dust, he determined a bird. Why a bird? Because a bird has a refined language. It's not like the sound of a beast or the hiss of a snake. But a bird has the ability to walk on the earth and then fly up above. Well, I'm going to take something that's dust and I'm going to make it like a bird. I'm going to give it wings, the wings of knowledge because I'm going to open up the book, both books, on something that's dust. And I'm going to breathe into this black man of my inspiration. And he will fly above that which once had him on the ground. I will heal. The man born blind. My dear pastors, I think it's the ninth chapter of John, I believe. There once was a man who was born blind. And he used to sit and beg. And one day, he met a man named Jesus, and that man opened up his eyes. The moment his eyes were opened, the rulers, the Pharisees, and became interested in him. They weren't interested in him when he was blind. They weren't interested in him when he was sitting and begging, but now that his eyes were opened, they came to question him. And they said, how come you see? He said, I met a man named Jesus. And he opened up my eyes. I say, well, Jesus is a sinner. God doesn't give sinners power to do these kinds of things. The man born blind said, I don't know whether he's a sinner or not. All I know is, whereas I was once blind, now, I see. All of you are a people born blind. You got eyes, but you never saw. You got ears, but you didn't hear. You got a tongue, but you never spoke. And as long as you're in this condition, the white man is not interested in you. You sit and you beg. Give me a job. Give me a scholarships, I can go to your school. Do this for me, do that for me. And as long as you're in that position, white folks don't care. But I met a man one day, and that man 
opened up my eyes. And the moment my eyes were open and I didn't sit or beg anymore, that's when the government became interested in me. And they're interested in how you think about me. You're on your job, minding your business, and the white boy will just slither right up next to you. Hey, 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 Sam, how you doing? Yo, man, it ain't fine, it ain't fine. What do you think about that guy, Farrakhan? Now he's weighing you. If you say you like him, he said, but, 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 but he's a hater. He, he, he's anti-Semitic. Why would you like a man like that? What has he done? That you could say he's a hater. We know what you've done. We know who the real hater is here. They're interested now. Because I'm awake and you are waking up. Now the authorities, if you, if you got a parole, and many of you are on parole, and they hear you becoming a Muslim, they may call you down. You want your parole revoked? Oh no, right? No, what, 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 what would I do? You just, did I rape? I ain't rape nobody. I'm through with that. I ain't selling no drugs. I'm through with that. I ain't even smoking them no more. I'm through with that. But I hear you've been going around that guy Farrakhan. You keep that up, you're going to be right back in here. He's trying to frighten you, see? He was trying to frighten the man born blind, but the man born blind wouldn't go for it. See, what they tell you about Elijah, they say Elijah's a sinner. He's a hate teacher. He's this, he's that. He had wives and babies and blah, blah, blah. Hey, I don't know nothing about that. Here's what I know. Whereas I was blind. Now I see. Next week, same time, same station. I will go into now what Allah revealed to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I want you to weigh it. If what he revealed is borne witness to by the Bible, Quran, and the wisdom of our universe, then know that God has raised up a man let me close with this point and make him a messenger to the children of Israel. I got to get to the board. Last time. Yeah, I'm going to erase it. Yeah, huh? We all understand this, so we erase this. Thank you. Make him a messenger. He's the Messiah but you want to put a message in his mouth to the children of Israel. Now you remember a few weeks ago, I don't have no money on me. I need a dollar. On the back of your dollar, 
you have the seal of the United States in the upper left-hand corner when you turn your dollar. Well, when you look at it, it's the right-hand corner. I deal with the right-hand corner today. All of this has meaning. White folks don't do nothing without meaning. You see that obelisk on the mall? They said Farrakhan went off. They made it 555 feet high. That's not an accident. And the obelisk is like this. That's the Washington Monument. If this becomes a one, this is what? 1555. 1555. That's when they brought our fathers into slavery. See, everything about this country is built on the secret of who you are. All masonry is built on the secret of who you are. Bring the worshipful master here and I'll break it all down for him with the help of our Lord. Now, up above the eagle, wheresoever the carcass is, there shall the eagle be gathered together. America uses the symbol of the eagle because it's the highest flying bird. And America is the highest flying of all the nations and is a predator. She has arrows in one claw and olive branch in another and nine feathers in her tail which represents the Supreme Court justices that just gave you your president. Now, I don't draw too good, so you have to pardon me, okay? But in that seal, in a circle, I'll draw the circle later, you have something that looks like this, but it's a star. Then out here, one, two, Three, four. Then you have three here. One, two, three. Then you have four again. One, two, Three, I'm sorry, three, four. And then one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Represents the tribes. One got lost. You. Then in 13, you have a seven and you have a six. Six is the number of the beast. Six days he's going to labor, but in the 7,000 year, that's when God comes and he rests, meaning he dies. Now check this out. If you do this, you got a six-pointed star, which is the symbol of Israel. You have one angle, two angles, three angles, 
four angles, five angles, six angles. You got six sides, six angles, and each angle is 60 degrees, which is the number of the beast. Now, in the next couple of weeks, if it is the will of Allah, I want to go after the name Israel and show you from the Bible Jacob wrestling with the angel and after he prevailed his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. So if Jacob is another name for Yaku then the real meaning of Israel, I'll get into it when we meet. Now the children of Israel. Children. We already said we were the babes. Of. Preposition denoting possession. You are the children of Israel. All that it said about Moses coming to the children of Israel, bringing them ten plagues on Pharaoh that Pharaoh would ultimately let you go. You are the captives of Israel. The little Israel over there is a sign of the big Israel over here. The Jews run that and the Jews run this. Don't get angry. That's real, doctor. We know you right. I hope you do. <laughs> Look. And make him a messenger to the children of Israel. Now, to the Muslim world, there is no messenger after Muhammad. There certainly is no prophet after him. But there is a messenger. Why is there a messenger? Because the full message of the Quran has not yet been revealed. And if Allah will teach this man Al-Kitab, the book, the wisdom, the Torah, and the gospel, and make him a messenger to the children of Israel, the black man in America, make him a messenger. Then the whole Muslim world has to think about this. Reason with me. I'm going to take you in closing to the 32nd surah of the Quran. called the adoration. Listen to these words. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I, Allah, am the best knower. The revelation of the book, there is no doubt in it, is from the Lord of the worlds. Or do they say he has forged it. Nay, it is the truth from thy Lord that thou mayest warn a people to whom no warner has come before thee that they may walk 
or right? Dear Muslim, this is not referring to Prophet Muhammad. Because in Mecca, when we visit there, at uh, Sharif al-Haram, there's the place of Abraham. Abraham was in Mecca. In Arabia, Hud and Saleh. They all were prophets in that area of the world. So you can't say that no prophet had gone before Muhammad. But this is talking about a warner coming to a people whom no one has come before thee, that they may walk aright. Nobody came to us directly from God. People preached to us, but they never warned us of the judgment of America and the white people and our own judgment. That we may walk aright. So God made a messenger of the Messiah to the children of Israel. It may shock you, but the Jesus you've been looking for, the Jesus that the world is longing for, believe it or not, is to be raised from among a dead people. He will be the first begotten of the dead and the first fruit of them that slept. You are the dead. You are the sleeping giants of the world. But that friend that we sing about. What a friend we have in Jesus. I would not be around if it were not for that friend. Neither would you. We know his name. We know the scriptures about him. But the person of Jesus is the thing that Satan does not want you to know. And that's why the Bible teaches that he changed the truth of God into a lie. You are a blessed people. You absolutely are the people of God and the enemy is so angry that God has chosen you to raise you even above him till his plan is to take you down with him to his well-earned doom this is why the drugs are in the community this is why the guns are here this is why the filth and indecency is here. He wants to make you unworthy and unfit. But remember that song that we used to sing. My God, he calls me. He calls me by the thunder. I hear him call within my soul. I ain't got long to stay here. You don't have long to do the things that you are doing that would make you unworthy and unfit for the favor of God. You are a beautiful people. Ain't no question about it. You are the righteous even when you wrong. You beat up a brother because he didn't do you right. He robbed the drugs. He didn't cut the thing right. He tried to cut it and weaken it. He didn't do right by the drugs, so you kill him. 
It's just you, you just righteous. You, you tell you the righteous, but you just messed up. You're wonderful people. Why don't you come on and be yourself? Thank you for listening, and may Allah bless you as I greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum.